All right, howdy everyone. Today's topic for our video is going to be talking about your conditioning to start getting you ready to learn skills on the uneven bars. One of the things that a lot of people, regardless of their age, have trouble with in gymnastics is the upper body strength that you need for uneven bars. And for adults, it's often extremely difficult because we have not, you know, over the course of our lives, built up the strength to handle 50 pounds when we were 50 pounds, the strength to handle 75 pounds when we were 75 pounds, so on and so forth. We're starting from scratch with weak muscles and a body that may weigh twice that or more. So these are some kind of simple or modified exercises that can be done to help really get that upper body strength to the place it needs to be to start learning the actual skills on the uneven bars. So the first thing we do is we work on our chin-ups a little bit. These will be important for pullovers and other skills like that. You start sitting on the box, your hands go on the bar, and your goal is to use your feet to help you. Pull up, look over the bar, come down. I would start with three to five of those in your overgrip. Then you can turn your hands upside down three to five in your undergrip. As you get more comfortable with those, you can start um, keeping your body in an L shape and pulling your entire body off the box. And when you can do that, you know you're probably ready to start working them hanging on a high bar. Another drill that you can do here while you're seated is modified leg lifts. The way I like to do it is three to the bar, with one leg, and then three with the other leg, and then three with both legs. With these, uh, you want to have the box somewhere that it will keep supporting your bottom until you get to the point where you can really do it without the help of the bar. Another option that you have if you have a bar that's a bit more adjustable than this one that is um, you know, a single rail that can go down really low, you can put it low enough that you can reach it while sitting on the floor and do it that way. Then, the next thing that we work on is some stuff for our front support. So, this, um, I'm not doing this as really a jump front support. This box is high enough that I can just stand on the box and kind of push the bar down and I'm in a front support. My toes are dragging on the mat, all right? And you would start out with just working that of just, can I push up to that front support and hold myself up with straight elbows? Once you've mastered that, the next place you're going to go is, can I do my front support? And then push the bar down towards my knees. Hold that and come back down. When that gets to be easy, you can also start doing dips in this position. Where you go? Relax down, and then push. Relax, and push. This eventually will become you relax, and then you swing your legs for a cast, but don't worry about that yet. Another good exercise for building strength in the front support position is going to that front support, and then walking your hands down the bar. We call these parrot walks. You can do them in both directions to make sure that you are getting equal strength on both sides of your body, walk all the way down, walk all the way back. If you need an extra challenge, you can put a piece of pit foam or something similar to that between your toes to make sure that your feet don't come apart while you're doing it. One more important exercise for our front support is a cast shape hold. This is also, as the name implies, starting to work us into our casts that we will eventually need to do to give us power for so many skills on bars like back hip circles, clear hips, giants, everything in that general range. You put your hands on the bar, you put your feet together behind you, you tuck your bottom under, lift your back. The more challenge you want, the further forward you should lean your shoulders past the bar. Right, holding that for about 20 to 30 seconds is a good place to start. When that becomes easy, 
put a box behind your feet to elevate them, make it more like a horizontal cast shape. And when even that is too easy for you, you can use something unstable like a yoga ball to put your feet on instead of just a solid box. And that will force you to also work your obliques and really fight to keep that straight tight body shape. One more final important shape to condition for uneven bars is the candle shape. Um, this is your top swings. This is your giants coming over the top of the bar. This is coming out of your clear hips. All of that stuff that you, know, you start working to as you become more and more of an advanced gymnast. But it's good to build that candlestick shape from the beginning. So the one I like for this is you lay down on your back with the post for the bar close to but not quite at your head. You want it at about where you can have your arms straight. And then you work on just pushing your lower back into the mat, slowly lifting up of that candlestick shape. And then you would hold here and then very, very slowly try to lower down with a straight, tight body. All right. And as with everything else, Three is a good number to start with, and then try five, then try 10. And when you get to where you're ready for something more complicated, we'll probably have another video by